if we're to understand the function of tshuva, of true tshuva, as doinus nasolei kezachias, as a ladder that has the ability to bring us to a higher and greater place than where we could have been otherwise. Because as the Gemara says, b'makim shabal tshuva oimdim, ain't tzaddik in gemurim yichel malamit, that the level of a tzaddik, a level of a tshuva is unattainable to the tzaddik. So then evil is not a necessary evil. Then Hashem created two Hashem created two goods. There is the apparent good, and that is Teira and Mitzvahs. And then there's all the other stuff, and the purpose of that is that we should transform it through tshuva also into goodness. It's not pshat that Hashem created evil, and the purpose of the evil is only just to be avoided, and the moment that we don't avoid it, then suddenly there is no redemption for that evil. The reason why the Eibishter created an Avera is because of Tshuva. And the reason why a person does an Avera is to enable him to do Tshuva. It's, not, it's a radical way of looking at it. It's not, I did an Avera, what can I do? So let me make the best out of the circumstances. Life gives me lemons, so I'm making lemonade. So I'll do Tshuva. The reason why Hashem allowed you to do the Avera it's because he knew that ultimately through tshuva you could turn it around to good. Otherwise, Hashem would never have allowed you to do an Avera. Because Hashem, as a father, loves us so much. Every path that we have in life is created by Hashem. Every temptation we have is created by Hashem. Every circumstance that we're put into is created by Hashem. If we're to think back into the failures of our lives, and we'd ask ourselves, how many different things managed by Hashem. How many different things which Hashem uh, micromanaged and coordinated did He put into place to allow me to fail in that way? Whether it's nature, whether it's nurture, whether it's circumstances, whether it's my temperament that He gave me, whether it's the parents that He gave me. How many circumstances did He put in place? And Hashem would not have done that unless, unless He knew that this path which we, this, this evil path, which he tells us, please don't take that path. I don't want you to go down that path. It's painful, it's hard, it's difficult. Do Torah, do mitzvah, stay in the light, don't go to the darkness. It's horrible. You lose your connection with Hashem, your relationship with Hashem. But the fact that Hashem ultimately does allow the possibility of that path is because that path can lead to tshuva, which is even higher and even greater than what a tzaddik can achieve. And this gives out new depth, a new oimek, into what we're learning about last week, how on the sixth day of creation, as we said, that Hashem looks at the world and says, the world is exceedingly good. And that's everything in the world. There's nothing that Hashem put in the world which isn't ultimately meant to serve the divine plan. And the Avedra is also included in that. The fact that He allows for Avedra is because that brings us, that has the potential to bring us to a greater place. Now, this is a very, very deep idea, a profound idea, and it's also a subtle idea, because chas v'shalom, to say, to walk out of this class saying, okay, so then Aveira is not so bad, because I can do tshuva. The Mishnah in Yuma says, ho'emer echta v'ashruv, echta v'ashruv, ma speak in biyadi l'asit tshuva. And the Eibishter wants us to do mitzvahs, he doesn't want us to do Aveiras. But at the same time, we all know that when the person hits rock bottom, a lot of people afterwards, they say that was the most amazing moment in their life. How is that? Because that's what impelled them get up. to get up, to turn themselves around. But no one wants to hit rock bottom. No one wants to, it's... What about the question is, why is it that way? In other words, why is that a great of good? If you do tshuva, why... That we spoke about last week. In Bikitzer, just a very, very short, the reason why is because the passion and the enthusiasm and the relationship, the, fire, the fiery relationship that the Baal has with Hashem is unparalleled by the tzaddik because absence makes the heart fonder. And when the person who's lived in darkness and then afterwards, he finally, he appreciates the light. Once he experienced the opposite of light. Right, right. So the purpose of an Avera, so when we, a person does an Avera, the person should be crushed by the fact of the Avera and devastated and it was a terrible thing. It was rebellion against Hashem. Why is he that? But at the same time, the person who does the Avera has to understand that why did Hashem allow me to do that? 
Not Hashem didn't make me do that. I just want to make that clear. Why did He allow me to do that? Why did He make that path even available to me? Because He knows that even if I am stupid and I do follow that path, through tshuva I can make that, turn that around, make that even greater than I could have been otherwise.